Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the connected textures and connected glass mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18 and the connected textures and connected glass mod actually works really well on fabric alongside sodium and iris shaders and some other fabric based mods as well. In the past we were only able to use connected textures and connected glass with Optifine because Optifine, for those of you who have used it, Optifine has an option to enable the connected textures in the game but now with fabric and sodium and iris shaders we are able to use connected textures and connected glass thanks to this specific mod and we can do this right now in Minecraft Java edition version 1.18 so I'm going to show you guys how to download and how to install the connected textures and connected glass mod for Minecraft Java edition version 1.18 to be used with fabric and it will support sodium iris shaders and other mods as well as you guys can see i do have sodium installed as well as other mods like iris shaders lithium and mod menu and some of the other fabric based mods and if you see in my game behind me behind the character you can see the glass is connected there's no borders between that you can also see the sandstone blocks there there's no lines showing up. If I was to disable the connected textures and connected glass mod, you guys can see that we do have the borders showing there on the glass. And you can see the specific lines on the top there on the sandstone blocks as well. By enabling the connected textures and connected glass mod, we can see that it gets rid of those borders and it gives us a nice clean looking layout there, especially for the glass. As you guys can see, we have some really nice looking glass with this mod. I have gone ahead and disabled the texture and resource packs. So this is what the vanilla game would look like with just the mod enabled. So if we've only got the connected textures and connected glass mod enabled, this is what it would look like in the vanilla game. And I could actually go ahead and take a glass block here and I can go ahead and make a glass based wall here as you guys can see and we're not able to see the borders or the lines are showing it between the glass there if i go ahead and enable a resource pack we can see it actually gives us a much more cleaner look there on the glass we don't have those dots showing in the middle and we can also go ahead and enable some shaders as well so i'm going to enable the astralex shaders which is a bsl edit shader pack and as you guys can see everything looks really nice we have the shader packs and we have the connected glass as well and the connected textures as well over there as you guys can see i am using sodium this is the sodium options if you were to install sodium and we also have the shader packs menu here which is part of the iris shaders shader packs menu so i'm going to show you guys how to download and how to install this connected textures and connected glass mod today to use with fabric alongside sodium and iris shaders and with the compatibility with other fabric based mods and i'm going to show you guys how to set everything up for minecraft java edition version 1.18 all right so the very first thing i would recommend is to go and head over to irisshaders.net so this is the website as you guys can see irisshaders all one word dot net and then once you come to this website just click on download now and then click on this bit here that says download universal jar and download their installer because the good thing about the iris shaders installer is that it actually includes fabric and it includes sodium alongside iris as well it actually contains three mods in the one installer so it's really convenient and we're going to install fabric sodium and iris shaders just by using this installer so do make sure that you download this installer as well the next thing you want to do is head over to curseforge so it just goes to the curseforge.com website and then click on minecraft click on the mods menu link here and then in your search bar we're going to search for the mod which is called continuity and this is the mod which is going to allow us to actually have the connected textures and connected glass in our game as you guys can see it is available for version 1.18 so we are going to go into the file section and then we're going to click into this file and 
we're going to make sure that we can see a download file link here and then you can just click on this link and it should give you a five second wait window and then it should automatically start the download we're then going to go back and we're going to download some other mods as well we're going to download a fabric api because we do need fabric api to be able to use mods with fabric so go ahead and download the fabric api mod as well making sure that it is for version 1.18 or your specific version of Minecraft if you guys are doing this in the future. The next mod I would recommend to download is actually called Mod Menu. So in your search bar there, just start typing in Mod Menu and look for the mod which is called Mod Menu by Prospector Dev. And then we need to download this mod as well because this is going to give us a mods button on our main menu which will allow us to configure all the different mods we are downloading so you click on files and then click on the latest download version for minecraft version 1.18 and finally the last mod i am going to download is actually called indium what this mod does it actually allows the connected textures and connected glass mod to be compatible with sodium so if you guys are thinking of using sodium alongside iris shaders for example then the connected textures connected glass mod is going to be compatible with sodium if you were not to use this mod then it may not be compatible so i would recommend to go ahead and download indium for your minecraft java edition version 1.18 now you will notice that this is actually in alpha stage so you will have to click on the view all button over here and that should show you indium version 1.0.2 for minecraft 1.18 you can then click into that file and then click on the download link over here making sure that you are downloading this for version 1.18 all right so you then want to head back into this screen over here and then click on resource packs like so and we're going to download the hysteria resource pack so in your search bar there just type in hysteria and we're going to download this one which says ctm hysteria which is a cool looking resource pack which enables the connected textures within the game so again click on files and then go to the latest version find the latest version and download that it doesn't actually matter for this one it does say game version 1.17.1 but this will work with 1.18 so just click on download and download that to your desktop you then want to head back into the main section here for minecraft and then this time we're going to click on customization and this is going to allow us to download and install shader packs so let's go ahead and download couple of shader packs here so let's actually download the astralex shaders and we can also download silders vibrant shaders because that has been updated recently so again do the same thing click on files and then click on the download button for the latest version and do the same thing for silders as well obviously you can go ahead and download other shaders from this list but just make sure that they are compatible with iris shaders all right, so as you guys can see, I have gone ahead and placed all of the downloaded files onto my desktop there. And the first file we need to run and install is actually Iris Shaders. So we need to run this Iris installer. Now you will require some type of Java application installed to be able to open up the jar file. So I would actually recommend that you guys download and install the Adoptium Open JDK version. I will leave a link in the description where you guys can follow that link. And it does have the links where you need to to go to to download the Adoptium Open JDK installer and that will basically allow you to double click on this file or right click on this file and then select open with and then choose open JDK platform binary okay so let's double click on this file and it should open up the iris installer as you guys can see like so it's already going to select the edition which is iris and sodium so just click on the drop down here for the game version and select 1.18 we then need to make sure that we are ticking this box which says install as a fabric mod because this is going to install fabric it's going to allow us to use it as a fabric mod and allow us to install other mods as well click on install and choose your launcher version if you are running both launcher versions so as you guys can see i've got the new minecraft launcher and the old minecraft launcher so i'm going to select microsoft store slash xbox for the new minecraft launcher and that should install the iris fabric and sodium into the new minecraft launcher now let's get rid of the iris installer we can now actually go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher i'm opening up the new minecraft launcher and at the bottom left it should show me a fabric installation if you guys did not tick that box 
for installers of Fabric Mod, then it will probably say Iris and Sodium instead, and you won't be able to use any mods with that. So do make sure that it does say Fabric Loader at the bottom left here. If I click into installations, you can see it says Fabric Loader 1.18, Fabric Loader 0.12.8 for 1.18. We can then click on this folder icon after highlighting any of the lines in the installation section over here. So click on the folder icon, and that should open up your default Minecraft directory. Okay, so now we can start actually installing the mods and the resource packs and shader packs as well. At this point, you should have a mods folder because we did install the Iris installer as a fabric mod. So look for where it says mods and go inside that folder. Inside that folder, you should already have two mods, which is the Iris MC 1.18 mod version 1.1.3 and the sodium for fabric for Minecraft version 1.18 and this is the 0.4.0 alpha build 9. Okay now what we need to do is just drag all of the jar files and place them inside your mods folder. So inside the mods folder you should have these files. You should have iris shaders, sodium, indium, mod menu, fabric API and continuity as well. So as you guys can see, I've got these six mod files inside my mods folder. We can then go one level up and now we need to look for a folder that says resource packs. If you don't have this folder for whatever reason, right click on an empty space, click on new, click on folder and then rename that folder to a resource packs like it says on my screen here. Go into that resource packs folder and now I can actually drag the hysteria resource pack inside the resource packs folder. Now let's go back one level and now we need to look for a shader packs folder. Again, if you don't have a shader packs folder, right click on an empty space, click on new, click on folder and then just rename that to shader packs like it says here. Let's go inside the shader packs folder and let's actually drag and drop the Astralex shader pack into there and the Silders Vibrant Shaders version 1.31 Extreme Edition inside the shader packs folder like it says. Now let's close this down and finally we can now launch the game and have a look at how the connected textures actually run in our Minecraft Java game with Fabric, Sodium and Iris shaders on version 1.18. Alright so as you guys can see it's now loaded the game and let's maximize this window. And because we installed mod menu, we do have a mods button here, like you can see, and it's showing us the mods. So as you guys can see, it says continuity, and it says continuity is a fabric mod build around modern APIs to allow for most efficient connected textures experience possible. It is designed to provide full Optifine parity for all resource packs that use the Optifine slash MC Patcher CTM format. So anything that uses that format, anything that uses the Optifine and MC Patcher CTM format, it will be compatible. Then we have Indium, which is a sodium add-on providing support for the fabric rendering API based on Indigo. So basically this allows us to use continuity and sodium together. And then obviously we have the iris shaders mod menu and sodium as well. You can obviously at this point go ahead and install other mods like hydrogen, phosphor, lithium and sodium extra if you wanted to do that. If we go and click on the continuity mod and then click on this button that says configure, just make sure that where it says disable CTM that is switched to off. If you guys did want to disable the connected textures mod then make sure this is showing as on but just make sure in the beginning it does say disable CTM and it's showing as off click on done and now we can go into options and then we need to go into resource packs and now you will notice we've got a couple of resource packs here so first of all click on this button here to put the continuity default resource pack inside the selected section like so and do the same for the glass pane culling resource pack as well let's click on done and now we can actually go ahead and enable a shader pack as well. So click on video settings, go to shader packs. And as you guys can see, I've already got Astralex enabled there. So click on apply and then click on done. And that should load the shader pack inside your game. I'm now going to create a new world and I'm going to have a look at how this looks inside a new world. So let's wait for that to now load up. All right. So as you guys can see, it has loaded us into a new world here and for those of you who are wondering this is the astralex shaders which gives us that nice cool looking background as you guys can see and everything looks really nice and the good news is that iris shaders has been making some really nice progress 
and from the looks of it Astralex shaders have got some nice working compatibility with iris shaders at the moment as well so let's go ahead and get some glass blocks here and have a look at how that looks inside our game we can also get some sandstone blocks as well so let me go ahead and make some of these blocks here as you guys can see i'm placing these blocks and there's no lines in between as you guys can see so let's do that same thing for the different colors as well if i was to do the same thing for the sandstone blocks as well we do have this line at the top if i was to start making more higher blocks then that line does disappear and it moves it to the top of the blocks there as you guys can see we can also go ahead and change our shader packs as well so let's go ahead and select the cylinders vibrant shaders and as you guys can see it does have a different looking layout there but in terms of the actual connected glass and connected textures they still work the same and everything looks really nice there we can actually go ahead and now enable the hysteria texture pack this is the hysteria texture resource pack and as you guys can see i've now enabled it let's have a look at how that looks you will notice that the user interface colors have changed when you use this shader pack and as you guys can see we have that really nice looking clean glass look there and this is thanks to the hysteria texture pack and everything looks really nice from the looks here let's go ahead and try this out with the astralex shaders as well Hopefully this will now allow you guys to download and install connected textures and connected glass for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. So any of you who were wondering how do I download, how do I install connected textures mod or connected glass for a Minecraft Java Edition on fabric to use with sodium and iris shaders on version 1.18. And hopefully this video would have been of some use to you. If you guys did like the video, please do give us a like. And if you have any comments or queries about how to use the connected textures or the connected glass mods that I have shown you guys today, then do leave them in the comment section below. And also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.